vlog. So we just got back from the little lavender fields. Oh, it was so cute. It's pretty small, but it was like so quiet, so peaceful. You could hear the birds. It was just so nice. There was like another couple there and then a little family. That was all that was there. So it was so nice. So you could like walk around and we got to take nice pictures. I got this dress, I think like in February or something like that. And I was just kind of waiting for it to be summer so I could wear it. It has a little cut out here at the back, which I think is really cute. It has a little slit up each side. You know, it goes really well with my socks. <laughs> um, I got tan all over already because I just did instant tan today because I never tanned last night. I used the Vita Liberata Body Blur, which is my all time favorite instant tanner because it goes on nice and smooth. It makes your skin just look amazing. So this is my favorite all time. Uh, instant tanner. I mixed a little bit of this Huda Beauty body glow with it. This is the shade Aphrodite. I decided to pick up some little lavender things from the store so I got a nice lavender soap, lavender and charcoal and then I got some more lavender. It's not fully dried out yet so, so I'm just gonna leave this here for a couple of weeks or however long it takes for it to dry out fully and um, we'll leave it on the little, this whole wall has become a whole dried flower wall. But a little rose update, you can see they have started to dry out real nice. I might not leave all these leaves on it right now, but I'm just going to see what happens. Um, but they're looking so vintage -y and such a whole vibe. Hello and welcome to another vlog. Um, I didn't vlog last week, I had a lot going on and I just took a little break from filming. But we are back today. The first little bit of the video was from the lavender fields, which we went to not last week, the week before, and it was just such a cute little a cute little morning. Um so I thought I would add it in here because cute. So I have a few things to uh, I have a few things to do this morning. I have to uh, go uh, and get some flowers from Costco. Then I'm gonna go to Home Depot and pick up some paint because we're gonna do another little DIY, which hopefully seemed like a pretty easy task, but the last one seemed like an easy task too. So hopefully it won't take me five days to do it. I don't think it will, it seems pretty simple, but I will get more into that when we get home. And then I have to pick up a couple of packages and do a little food shop. And then we're gonna head home. So yeah, I just have a couple of little things to do this morning. So I saw this on Instagram. I'll link her Instagram somewhere on the video. But she has this from, it's called Trash to Terracotta. So what she does is she painted all these. Like how fab do these look? Um, I'm just gonna scroll. Like, hello, such a vibe. So this is what they were like before. So she just picked up random little uh, vases that she finds in thrift stores that have nice shapes to them. And then changes them into this. How fab. We love the aesthetic. I'm gonna try it on this little vase and I'm gonna try it on this. I already have two other ones of these but I don't really have a lot of rose gold in my apartment anymore so I'm gonna try it with these and see how they work out. So the next time I'm thrifting if I see a really nice vase even if I don't like the colour I know I can pick it up and do this with. So I just got one paint. Um, This is the colour. It's just like a nice soft like an off white shade. I like this peach colour that she has. Like see the way it's just they're different colors, but they all work together. So if it works out, fingers crossed, I'll pick up a few more colors. So like see all the effect, like it looks like it's clay. It looks like they were just made by somebody. Such a vibe. This is one of my favorite projects of all time, where I basically take ugly thrift store vases and upcycle them using paint. But I tried sand, plaster of Paris, and a few other things and baking powder definitely had the best textured effect. Start by putting about a cup of paint into a container. To that, add a teaspoon of baking powder. Stir well to combine the paint and the powder and watch as the water in the paint and the baking powder react and fizz up. 
It's this reaction that creates the textured effect of the paint. So it seems like a pretty easy DIY. Fingers crossed that it is. It's a nice spot you have there, isn't it? So I put it on nice and thick and I didn't do it perfectly neat like you can see here there's like little imperfections but I kind of want it to look that way so it, I kind of want it to have that like homemade type of edge to it. with how these came out. They came out exactly the way I wanted them to. So remember a couple of weeks ago when I dried out my roses? Well, this is what they look like now. They turned out so nice and they still have the nice lilac colour to it. So I'm very happy with them. These ones are from months ago. This fella, he's questionable. With this one, I'm obsessed with this rose and I love the colour of it. Um, again, that was just from a different bouquet of roses from months ago. But I think putting them together will be real cute. And I also have some of this dried baby's breath that I think I'll put in it as well because I feel like that just adds another little element. So I'm going to put these into my new pot. our dried ones here and our beautiful white ones here these have bloomed overnight so stunningly I can't even deal I'm for sure gonna dry a few of these as well but look how pretty they are I'm just doing a little face mask um, and I thought I would give you a little rundown of some of my favorite ones. So this one I'm using is the Caudalie Purifying Mask. I usually use this when I'm like breaking out or I can feel breakouts coming up. I can't feel any breakouts right now, but I am in the middle of my period and I'm just kind of doing it as a precaution just in case. Um, and I haven't done a clay mask in a bit of a week or so. So I feel like I'm just due do a little clay mask so this one is great for so i'm just reading it off sephora because i just want to give you the proper explanation of the masks so this one is has solutions for oiliness pores and acne and blemishes so that's why i'm doing it just to kind of prevent it just in case but it's great when i can feel anything coming up i go straight in with this mask and another one of my favorite clay masks is this one from dermalogica it is the sebum clearing mask again it's great for oiliness for pores for blemishes so they're my, my two go-to clay masks okay another favorite is this one from Cadillac. i love Cadillac masks so i do use a lot of them and this is the moisturizing one it's 
so good i love it so much it says on this that you put a thick layer on leave it for 15 minutes get some tissue dab off the excess and then rub it in i don't do that i just go in with a nice good layer all over my skin and that's it i just leave it let it absorb in all night and i wake up the next day and my skin is so 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 soft i love it i definitely recommend this one if your skin is on the drier side i'm not going to say this is a favorite because i haven't used it enough for it to be a favorite but i used this the other night it's the glycolic peel again from cow delay looked at my skin in the mirror and it looked like i had a lot of texture and like i was just like ooh. We should do something about that. So I decided to go in with this mask. So I put it on for 10 minutes. And you can kind of feel it tingling. So it's basically a gentle glycolic acid peel mask. To reveal softer, brighter and more even skin. So I did this. Rinsed it off. And then I just put some oil on my skin. And honestly it definitely made a difference. My skin looked brighter. It definitely looked smooth and glowy. So I'm going to continue to try this one out. And I will report back. But so far. I do really like this one. So this is the detox. Or yeah the instant detox mask from Caudalie. It's another clay mask. I find it's just like a, a lighter clay mask. I don't even know if that's right. But that's kind of how I feel when I use it. So this is used to cleanse impurities and tighten pores. So it says on the website it's a detoxifying clay mask to keep pores clean and tight. And it has solutions for oiliness, pores, dullness and uneven texture. So I feel like this one is more for like blemishes and this one like really like cleans out your pores helps with blemishes and then this one is more to like kind of tighten your pores and even out your skin tone both are great this is more of like a morning time mask ula henriksen Faclo facial i love 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 this it makes my skin so glowy you put it on it goes on pink you massage it in and it turns white and then after you rinse it off you just have the nicest glow on your skin i love it so that's why i use this in the morning time if i'm like filming for a tutorial or i have somewhere to go and i want a nice glowy skin i will pop this on in the morning so i'm gonna go rinse this off now and i think i'm gonna pop this one on top because sometimes with clay mask i feel like it takes moisture out of your skin so i always like to make sure i put that moisture back in so i'm gonna go in with the cadillac mask afterwards mm -hmm. 